global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. The case of the 27 lawmakers in River State, led by Martin San Mowale, who defected from the People's Democratic Party to APC, seems to have been put to rest considering the outcome of the case today. Don't forget that some time ago, on precisely on July 12, the APP, a strong political party now in River State, stormed the court and demanded the immediate replacement of the 27 lawmakers who had defected based on the provision of the law. We already know that the law provides that in the event of any elected officer, you know, cross carpeting from the political party where he was elected to another political party, he stands to lose the seat. On that ground, they stormed the court to, you know, appeal for immediate replacement of these 27 lawmakers. But finally, the Federal High Court in Abuja had come up with a judgment. According to the news, the Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday dismissed a suit seeking an order sacking the seat of the 27 members of the River State House of Assembly loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesom Wiki. The judge... Peter Lifo, in a judgment held that the suit instituted by the Action People's Party, APP, was statute bare, having, no, having not been filed within 14 days allowed by the law. The news agency of Nigeria reports that the 27 lawmakers led by Martin Amowale were said to have defected from the People's Democratic Party, APC, or AP, PDP, to the All Progressive Congress, APC, on the 11th of December, 2023. However, the APP filed a case on 12 July, a period of eight months after the case, or after the cause of action, arose. The suit is a slight show to the broader battle between the two factions of People's Democratic Party, PDP, lawmakers in the House of Assembly, loyal to the warring duo of Mr. Wiki and Governor Similari Fubara and his predecessor. Delivering the judgment, Mr. Lifo held that the case was a gross abuse of court process on the grounds that several suit on the alleged defection of the same 27 lawmakers has been abdicated upon the federal Abdicated upon by the Federal High Court. The judge, who cited the previous judgment of the court delivered by his colleague James Omotosho, said that the request for replacement of the lawmakers had earlier been rejected due to lack of sufficient evidence to establish the defection of the legislature. He recalled that in the earlier judgment, Mr. Omotosho restrained the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from declaring the seat of the lawmakers vacant and from conducting any fresh election. Mr. Lifo said that since the judgment had not been set aside and not appealed against, it remained binding with force of law as far as the issue of defection is concerned for the 27 lawmakers. He said that it would amount to a display of judicial rascality for him to sit as an appeal court in the judgment of the same court. The judge subsequently dismissed the suit, and uh, the River State House of Assembly is factionalized between 27 lawmakers loyal to Mr. Wiki and three others backed by Governor Fubara. The division stemmed from the superiority battle between Mr. Fubara and Mr. Wiki. The battle has been in a state of flux, with either calm gaining the upper hand in the House through court decision at different times. On 4th July, the Court of Appeal Abuja nullified the expulsion of Mr. Amowale and 24 other pro wiki lawmakers whose seat were earlier declared vacant by the Mr. Fubara back lawmakers. The River State High Court in Portacourt had in May barred the lawmakers from parading themselves as members of the State House of Assembly after they defected from the People's Democratic Party to the APC. But a three-man panel of the Court of Appeal held that the lower court lacked the jurisdiction to grant the expertise order expelling the pro wiki lawmakers. Following the Court of Appeal judgment, Mr. Moholin led River State Led Rivers Assembly had on 15 July suspended all expenditure of Governor Fubara until he represent his budget before the House. The lawmaker gave the Governor a seven-day ultimatum to represent his budget, which they said had been had expired. The House leader, Major Jack, moved the motion to bring a resolution alerting the House 
of the governor's seven days deadline for presenting the 2024 budget to the House. Following consideration, the Assembly decided to shut down the real state consolidated revenue account, prohibiting any expenditure by Mr. Fubara's administration. The Mr. Amorales late faction of the House then filed an action at the Federal High Court in Abuja to validate its revolution or resolution by ordering the shutdown of the state consolidated revenue account and expenditure of the governor. However, on 21st July, the High Court in Abuja refused to shut down all expenditure of Governor Fubara of River State pending the hearing and determination of substantive suit filed by the Martin Amor Lane led River State Assembly. The judge Emeka Witt directed the plaintiff to put the governor and other defendants on notice to enable them to have their say before making a pronouncement on the request. This is really interesting, I must say. And the big question most Nigerians are asking, why is it that all the cases seems only to hold at Abuja? The one that held at uh, River State, they say they lack the jurisdiction, which means the state High Court does not have the jurisdiction to handle a case of sort, despite the fact that these people are elected as State House of Assembly. We do not know much about what is going on, but however, the court has taken a stand, and that stand can only be appealed. My colleagues in the House, we just want to talk about this. This back and forth is one thing Nigerians seem not to be comfortable with. If there is a provision to the fact that someone had defected and when he defects, he must, you know, be replaced. Court is now saying uh, it is null and void. There is no evidence. Where, when there are, there are different court cases, you know, pointing to that direction. What's your standpoint on this? Well, Nigeria is a country where everything and anything is possible. They're actually coming with that technicality that is used to show Peter Obishogi. Where they'll put concrete before you and tell you to surmount it. Well, but then again, if they keep doing this, they keep making a mess of Nigerian constitution. I understand the fact that they're trying to say, okay, there's processes, you have 14 days, some cases 21 days to make this happen. You're waiting till eight months to react, but there have been cases on that matter. Yeah, and according to the, the, the uh, judgment, then they said they lack evidence. And I'm wondering, what other evidence do we need if? These guys had already gone on, uh, they went to court and obtained even an affidavit to that effect. They had done, they, they, they did their presentation during the defection. They read different letters, which is already in the minutes of the house. We saw it, all Nigerians saw it. And uh, there's a the video, court. there's been a video, there's also in, in print, the exactly. sworn affidavit. Exactly. There's enough proof they are, they are now, they were actually relying on register. Mm -hmm. But be that as it may. I, I can't. I, I, if you ask me personally, I would just say Fubara should borrow a leave from Obaseki on that <laughs> ground. Obaseki <laughs> did a job that some people say is a new man's job, where he ruled for successive eight years with an assembly <laughs> that he, he wanted. He did, yes, it's a, unfortunately, it's the Nigerian democracy. And they, if these guys continue in this light, all that you need to do, keep somebody will say in all of this to come and collect salary. They've been sitting. They've not been collecting salary. They've been telling Fubara to come and re-represent the 2024 budget. Fubara here is taking up present the 2025 budget to his Oko Jumbo-led assembly. We could go on and on. Before you know it, we are looking at uh, four years of no assembly per se. We could always keep going to court cases. Oh, of course, he is also looking at the grounds of whatever it is. They want to push it to federal level. But whatever it is, they should be very careful the way they are twinking uh, the Nigerian constitution because it was clearly written. And that's why you see this unnecessary battle and rancor going on in PDP where the dem demagom, they're insisting that demagom should remain because they yes. need demagom to help them push the narrative that these guys never no, actually okay. defect so that they will now come back to AP, to PDP as if they never defected and now successfully impeach Fubara. So the technicality is so much, they first have to first of all confirm that they never defected and they have to also confirm the fact that they are back to PDP 
and they have to now after that they will now start thinking of you know removing Fubara. Now, if they continue this politics of you know green, we know go green. Years are going, you know, months are going. These guys are not collecting salary. Before you know it, we are looking at 2027. Exactly. Right? So you may be looking at a three-man panel assembly that would hold o o o that would hold run through the four years. Obaseki have done it before, it was successful, which means somebody have done it before in Nigeria, unfortunately, in democracy, another can do it. And unfortunately, uh, if this passes, that means yes, Omiki and these guys have successfully tweaked PDP's constitution to be able to favor a narrative that benefits one man, which, if you ask me, that's not democracy anymore. All right, we'll leave it there. Let's meet our comment section. What's your standpoint on this judgment by Mr. Peter? Or let me say Judge Peter.